my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. If you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting the sub button and the notification bell, and you will be alerted with any of my new videos that I've loaded. And um, I've got a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> as you do with a drink and a mug in my Emma Bridgewater's women's votes mug 100 years of us voting and so I thought I think it's more than that now because I've had that cup a couple of years now so today I'm going to be showing you how to make clay or salt dough ornaments so for the video I am using clay so I'll be using this um, I will link everything I can in the description box, um, but you can get this from the works, from the range. I think Poundland even sell it as well, but it's a little bit pricier. So these are between three and four pounds for a big packet of this air drying clay. You get, how many grams do you get of this? It doesn't say, but you get a lot. You get a lot. Um, can't quite work out what it is. Maybe I'm just being thick. Um, but I will leave in the description box below the recipe for salt dough. So me and the kids have made salt dough decorations every year. We love doing it and it literally is cupboard supplies like flour and salt and stuff. I will leave the recipe below in the description box if you want to make salt dough. Um, also, so I'll just to let you know, if you are making salt dough, if you add cinnamon, the decorations come out a little bit brown. So they look a bit like gingerbread as well, but obviously they're gonna last for years. You can put them on decorate a lot on your tree and they smell amazing. So that's just a little tip, but I will leave the recipe and the recipe with the cinnamon because you have to adjust it slightly um, in the description box. But I'm gonna be using air drying clay. So last night, me and the children made our annual decoration. So we used the clay last night. It was a really busy day. I had to go and do their like school meetings, like their parents' evening. Um, I speak to their teacher and they come home and I was cooking dinner and it was just like, I sat them at the breakfast bar with a bit of clay. I've put out some greaseproof paper down um, and just let them crack on with some cookie cutters. So I just wanna show you how you can make really beautiful personalized decorations, but also at the same time make people gifts at Christmas. So gifts haven't got to cost the earth and you can make things really beautifully and personalized, um, really, really cheap and frugally. Um, so I'm gonna start off. So I already have a packet of that open. I always put my leftovers in one of these little sandwich bags. I make sure I squeeze all the air out and then zip it up just because then it's waste not whatnot. Let's take my rings off. Um, so I'm just gonna get a small amount out to start with. And I wanna show you how we can make some really beautiful decorations and then how we can decorate them after. So this is air drying, you haven't got to bake this, it's not like polymer clay. You could do this with polymer clay, but you bake in the oven as well, because then it's dried within the time that you're baking it with and you can make different colored decorations for the tree as well, that'd be really cute. But this is the cheapest way to buy from the shop. But like I say, salt dough will do exactly the same thing. You'll end up with a dough and it'll be the same process to decorate. Um, so all you're gonna need is a rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin and you are doing this completely from store covered items and you wanna do it free with a salt dough recipe, you can use a can of soup, tin of beans, whatever you've got, anything that you can roll a jar over it to make it smoother out. Um, I've definitely used a tin can as a roller before. Um, so yeah, so roll it. I would say the thickness you're gonna need it is roughly about two millimeters. So I'll try and show you the thickness roughly of this, not this part, like this part here, because you want it to dry. It does take a little while to dry. I have got the decorations. So last night, the ones we made, Alfie made some bell shapes quite thickly, and you can still see they're a bit gray. They go more whiter once they're done, but we made thin trees and stuff, and they're completely solid now and dry to decorate. Um, so we're gonna roll this out. Now you can use cookie cutters, or alternatively, if you wanna like draw on a piece of paper, a star shape, or any other shapes that you wanna do, put it on top of the clay, and then what you can do is just use a knife that you've got to cut round the shape. So you really don't, this is a craft for everyone. You really don't need to buy anything to do this. Um, it is kind of store cupboard stuff that you've got. Um, so what I am gonna use is a circle first off. So I've got a circle cookie cutter. I'm just gonna cut out my circle and then pop it to the side. And then I don't know if I've got enough space for a star. Am I? Yes, I have just enough clay for a star. So I've got a little star cookie cutter. I always buy the cheap packs of cookie cutters when it's seasonal. So I've got quite a lot of little ones actually. The little ones are really cute. So we've got angels, we've got trees, we've got moons, we've got stockings. There's loads of different ones. Gingerbread men ones, the gingerbread ones are cute. Um, but the pound shop sell these as well. You can get them really cheap. I find as well in the charity shop, they've always got cookie cutters really, really cheaply. So I'm gonna start off with a star 
and a circle. Now with the circle, what I wanted to show you is standard stamps that you can buy in the craft section of the pound shop and stuff. These are perfect. So you can make little designs onto your clay by stamping them in. Also as well, I use um, these little jelly cake ones. So you stick them onto a stamp and you pop them in and you can make marks or you could even write out initials or names. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some foliage. So I've got some random foliage that we use for Christmas. I'm just going to cut a bit off with my like little double sided bits. Double sided, um, cut a side cut, shall I say. And I'm just going to press this plastic piece of foliage. Now you could use some twigs or foliage from the garden. And I'm just going to lay that on top and I'm going to roll that ever so slightly into the pattern. And then once we peel it, out you're going to be left oh let me come up close with the most beautiful floral pattern on these and um, so these would look really beautiful and you can paint these once they dry i just use one hack that you can use as well if you've got a straw you can punch the straw at the top and basically it'll make the perfect hole i've just got one of these little things that i use for painting so i'm just gonna push it in and then wiggle it round to make a little hole at the top for when we need to put our ribbon through it and then you pop it to the side. I'm going to be stamping the star, but I don't know what to do on the star. So I might use jingle bells, pop it down, roll it slightly into the clay. Let's see what we get. Yeah, so it's not perfect by no means least, but jingle bells and these will look really adorable. So obviously there's so many different things that you can do with these clay. You can roll them into balls and pop holes through them and make your own clay beads to make garlands. That's really cute. Um, but what I am going to do, so I'm going to pop them to the side on my little drying station here. I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate some of them. So these are some of the ones that we got from last year. So these were made, I think these were two years old actually, these ones. So one of these ones was Tis the Season to be Jolly. And I just popped some twine in this. I didn't even sand this. You can get a light sandpaper and sand these off rough after and they come out really smooth and beautiful like you bought them from the shop. But I quite li like leaving them rustic. And um, this one's ho, ho, ho. And these have just got gold twine on them. So you can leave them white and they will last for years. I do put them in like a cool dry um, box though to keep them safe because sometimes they can get moisture, especially if it's salt dough. I find for some reason the salt just draws in the water. So you're gonna need to keep them in like an airtight box. Um, so we now are going to decorate some of the decorations just to show you how beautiful and unique you can have them. So if you are doing these personalised, you could put your friend's name on them. If someone's got a baby, you could, or you've had a baby, you could roll this out and you could get them to do their hand prints in this clay, which would be a really nice gift um, for grandparents as well, or parents, um, which would be really nice. You can do lots of thoughtful gifts with clay. I'm gonna pop that to the side and we're gonna get the most dry ones that we've got. So I've got a couple of stars here and I've got a heart and a tree that we've got dry. So I'm gonna decorate these ones just to show you how nice and beautiful we can make these look. So I always use string or like a silver twine or gold twine because I just feel like it's nice and rustic. You can get this from the pound shop in the garden section for a pound. And where have I got my scissors? That would help, wouldn't it? Here we are. Or you could just use wool, whatever you've got. Uh, florist wire, you can pop through these. So I'm gonna make like a little mini garland to go on my little Christmas tree that I've got. So I'm gonna just knot Not it a couple of times so that it doesn't, so it stays in its place. Oh no, it still pops through. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna not, not it above. So I made a few of these a couple of years back and I've done a kitchen tour um, of like at Christmas and I done them, I painted them in like a bright pink and put like all the gold twine around them. And I had so many people saying, Rosie, where did you get your uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas tree decorations in your kitchen, them little pink stars, they're adorable. And they were made, they were made of salt dough, painted in like a pink paint I'd mixed up, with just mixing some red and white together and like made like the perfect color pink. And then just literally some gold twine, cause that gold twine lasted me for ages. It's like metal twine in it. 
um, wire twine and I got that in the charity shop. So I'm just gonna make like a little garland um, today. That's what we're gonna make. And I'm gonna just decorate these and I thought you might wanna watch as we decorate along. Just some little ideas and inspiration. If you've got a little cup of tea and you just wanna chill and have something Christmassy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop this on my, pop it through, help pop it through with the little thingy. Right. Detwined guys, oh there we go, here we go. Make sure I've got a similar gap between each. These would look really nice hung as well with twinkly lights. You could tie these with some twinkly lights. And then have we got enough space for our Christmas tree? Yeah. I'm gonna pop him on as well. I don't know why it's a him. It just feels like a him. <laughs> People are like, Rosie, what is wrong with you? The Christmas tree feels like a boy tree. It is. We call him Steve. Steve the tree. Oh no, Paul. Paul the pine. Is that a pine tree? Don't even, don't even know. Right, tie that up as well. So I have lots of pops of golds and greens and that in my kitchen. Um, so and reds so I'm going to keep this really natural in here so the way I'm going to decorate these is I haven't obviously embossed any of these I've left them white and um, I'm going to be doing what ideas have I got in my head that I want to use on them I definitely wanted to use some of the foliage it's always nice to get your craft box and sort of just have a little look through see what you've got I'm going to use some of these little vines I think that I got off just the stem you've got most people have these little bits on a reef or something I'm pretty sure you could just take a tiny little snip off and it make no difference I do that all the time and um, my garland across the back wall was slightly short of the picture rail so I had a matching reef so I just snipped one of the stems off and put it on um if I say I've done it I'm gonna do it I haven't even done that yet I'm lying if I say I've done that so the first one I'm gonna do is probably on the tree I think the tree would look quite cute with some little vines at the top. So just with my glue gun, I'm gonna pop some glue and I'm gonna make sure that they stay down in like a V shape to make the tree look really, really cute. I think that looks well sweet. Um, and then I'm thinking for the stars, I think I'm gonna go gold with these. I've been using gold leaf for ages now in a lot of my crafts. Um, I just love it and I feel like when I get something that I really like, so I got this off of Amazon, so this is about £5 for both the packets and you get 100 sheets of gold and 100 sheets of silver um, and I just feel like the gold is just bringing me joy right now, it's £2.50 for this whole pack basically um, and I just feel like it's going to look really cute. I haven't got my PVA glue out but I have got my print stick, but this will show you how much I've been using gold leaf. <laughs> Oh well, um, so I'm just going to glue on the star onto the stars with just some Pritt stick, and I'm going to let it sit a little bit tacky for a bit, and then I'm going to just rub some of this on and make sure that it's not perfect, and sort of like rub it into the glue to make it look all crackly, if that makes sense, and make it look nice and rustic that's what we want we want it to look really nice and i find sometimes the most rustic things you make look like the most expensive beautiful decorations especially at christmas because it gives it like a real traditional look I do need to get that little bit off there have a little bit more lemonade as well why not why not have some lemonade enjoy your life although it is diet lemonade so that's probably they say you should have full fat don't they if you're having anything like that I'm going to add a little bit of gold to the other stars. Well, you could even add silver. You could even make this a little bit different. Like, just saw a little bit of gold poking out the bottom. So I thought I'd use that up. Ooh, let's get a bit of sheet out. Just a little tiny bit we can use. Oh, I've already put my glue down so we can do the same thing again. Make it go tacky. I'm just so excited for Christmas this year, guys. I feel like the last few Christmases, I think, I don't know if because everything that was going on, it just made me feel like, I don't know, but I feel like, and it isn't even to do with, I know a lot of people are finding this time of year really hard. It's the free stuff that's making me happy. Like it's the, it's the I don't know, just snuggling up together as a family, going on crisp walks. I just feel like the last few years, I've been so stressed with the stuff that isn't important 
and trying to get it so that everything's perfect. But this year, because Albert's just so full on and he's running around and he's hard and he, I can't be as organised as planned as I was. And it's been such a blessing. Like, obviously it's a blessing anyway, even if that weren't the case, but it's been such a blessing because it's like made us live in the slow lane more. Like, we aren't always just going up doing stuff now. We'll be at home baking. It's just really, I don't know, just it just feels, I feel like, Christmas, the meaning of Christmas is family time, isn't it? And just staying and having lots of loved ones over and just enjoying life. I don't know. And it just makes me happy that we got, I don't know. I'm being sentimental now. I'm being a little sentimental person. And um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is you can also use stamps to stamp pictures onto the clay as well, which looks really nice. And um, so I don't know what stamps I've actually got in here. got Delivery by Santa. Do need to have a little bit of organisation. I just grabbed some bits because they are organised in all the drawers. And um, I just grabbed a few things that I thought would be good for the kids last night to make the stuff. And um, I don't know what ones they've used. This one says very Merry Christmas. And I've got some green test like tester pot paint. I'm just gonna pop down because I thought we we're gonna keep it to the golden green theme. Um And all I'm going to do is you can use ink. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to rub a little bit, quite thickly, can you see? No, you can't see, can you? Let me put the camera down a little bit. So I'm just going to put some paint on here. You don't need to have paint brushes and all that stuff. You just use what you've got. Pop the lid on. Wash my hands off a little bit. And then I'm just going to pop the stamp, take off, take off some of the excess, make it a bit more flat. And then, do you know what? This has already got ink on it and it's coming off black. Let's wash it a little bit. Wash my stamp off a little bit. <laughs> Get some kitchen rock to dry that. Wash it off. Yeah, it's a bit stained as well. I normally use these stamps to um, press on my wrapping paper for presents. But right, here we go. That should be a bit better now. Yes. Right, and all I'm going to do is lift my heart up and I'm going to try and stamp it. Oh, and it says, the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> I don't know why this just makes me happy. Um, so you can make loads of decorations like this. I just thought I'd do like a little inspo video. I'm actually thinking I might make a garland, do it like star heart star tree star heart star tree that's a new song star heart star tree and hang it like make a really long garland and then next time do the heart with the pine bits on and then stamp the trees maybe even paint them but i just thought these were really really sweet um so yeah and obviously you can make them really cheaply at home with the salt dough so i'll leave that recipe down in the description box so you can make this literally for pence um so i thought i'd share it with you because it might be a little craft that you might want to make at home with the kiddies or you know if you haven't got kiddies there just make it at home anyway for yourself because obviously i'm standing here with no children present um <laughs> making them and having lots of fun so i've been rosie henshaw hopefully you've enjoyed this craft guys see you later take care bye